everyone? It's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 15 Plus and see how this particular phone holds up in the later part of 2024. Now, the big thing I can, I can definitely tell you is that this phone, in a lot of ways, I'm really, really happy about. It's a really good phone, but there are some things that have changed with this phone in the last couple of months, and I don't really think this would be the first phone I would recommend people to buy. So we'll talk about that throughout this video. Number one, on the outside, this phone still feels and looks like a pretty good phone. 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display, and it's a good looking phone, right? Like I felt like this phone was good. You know, I don't really have too many issues with this panel. It's 2000 nits of brightness, but it's a 60 hertz panel and, you know, dynamic island, still very nice, but it's a 60 hertz panel. Definitely not the nicest panel here. USB type C port on the bottom, frosted glass back with a dual camera setup. And I definitely will say from that side, it still is holding up fairly well, right? Like I don't have too many things to kind of complain about here once again, when it comes down to that side. There are definitely some areas of this phone where I feel like Apple could have done a better job with on the exterior. Number one, like I said before, with that higher, with the lower refresh rate here, I feel like they could be giving us a higher refresh rate, which was kind of a downside. But also when it comes down to some other areas of this phone, I feel like Apple could be giving us a better experience as well. Now another very big thing to keep in mind here with this particular phone is the fact that when it comes down to the software side it's still holding up well but it didn't end up getting Apple intelligence right that is kind of a disadvantage with this type of phone because Apple gave the iPhone 16's Apple intelligence it gave the iPhone 15, it gave the iPhone 15 Pro Apple intelligence it just didn't end up giving this particular phone Apple intelligence this and the iPhone 15 and I feel like that's kind of a downside like I feel like these phones could have easily supported it and that is why in the last couple of months what Apple ended up doing was that they actually ended up dropping the iPhone 16's right now the 16's ended up getting Apple intelligence but the problem is with the iPhone 15 plus is that this phone basically is the same price as an iPhone 16. So when Apple dropped the iPhone 16s, they dropped the price of the iPhone 15 Plus a little bit. But why would you go ahead, if the iPhone 15 Plus and the 16 are the same price, like why would you go ahead and buy the iPhone 15 Plus at that point, right? Like that doesn't really make too much sense to me. It makes a lot more sense to go ahead and buy a device that is, you know, probably going to be giving you more features ahead of it. And when I look at the next couple of years, it looks like even with iOS 19, Apple is really going through and focusing in on Apple intelligence, right? Their AI features are not stopping. So I say that to say there doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense to go and buy a you know phone that's already going to be lacking in a certain software update that's probably going to be the main focus for Apple for the next couple of years. So I think that's going to be a very big thing to kind of keep in mind here. Otherwise, though, I think the iPhone 15 Plus still holds up very, very well. You're getting that A16 Bionic chip. You're getting six gigabytes of RAM. You're getting a very good, powerful phone, which is something I love. But like I said, you're going to have to kind of think about with, you know, when it comes down to this phone, how it compares against some of the competition around it. So that's kind of what I say. I think the 15 Plus is a great phone, but if you can, I would recommend buying an iPhone 16. Or if you want to go in the used market, you might as well go ahead and buy a used iPhone 15 Pro at that point. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.